Maybe caught a break here, boss. Shop on Wat Chong Avenue said some guys brought in a sad and these plates trying to load it for parts. Are you telling everybody this fucking cost for Tony Soprano and leave it all in one piece? Yeah, sure. It's for the kids teaching. My guy said that one of those goofballs had a uniform on from, um, uh, Butt Fox. Whatever, the, the, the coffee shop. I guess the guy works there. Wat Chong Avenue and what? Um... I think I'll have an espresso. Paulie, you want anything? They got any, uh, just coffee? Our cafe du jour is New Zealand pea berry. Come on, home. What up? It's 420, pick it up over there. One medium du jour, one single espresso, regulare. Yeah, keep it. Du jour, espresso, come here. Honey, let me ask you. My wife was in the body shop around the corner on Wachung Avenue the other day. The guy in front of her leaves, and she sees he dropped his money clip, but he was already gone, and we'd like to get it back to him. She said he was wearing a uniform like, uh, like that there. Real black hair, she said, tall, little earring. I'm sorry, sir, but these stores are everywhere. Then tell me about it. Fucking Italian people. How do we miss out on this? What? Fucking espresso, cappuccino. We invented this shit, and all these other cocksuckers are getting rich on it. Yeah, isn't it amazing? And it's not just the money. It's a pride thing. All our food. Pizza, calzone, buffalo mozzarella, olive oil. These fucks had nothing. They ate pootsy before we gave them the gift of our cuisine. But this, this is the worst. This expressive shit. Take it easy. Thanks. Excuse me. The guy fitting the description does work in this here branch. His name is Eduardo Arnez. Him and his gay lover both work here. And I got the address. Paul, are you listening to me? Yeah. Oh, again with the rape of the culture. Can we go find these Spice Girls already and get this over with? Two small coffee de jours. Hamada Hamada, and you're from Mister. What? From Mister. <laughs> uh, Mister. Arnez, what do you want? You seen a school teacher's satin around here? Come here. Anybody else hit Desi? Eddie, I'm ready. Yep. Here comes Lucy now. People at the airport shuttle are always late. <laughs> Eddie! Boys drove off in the wrong car a couple of days ago. I'm not crying. We ain't saying shit until there's an attorney present. Well, go ahead. Make a statement. Oh, I got oh, fucking Johnny Cochran right here for you. You boys put a real crimp on my week. Oh, my night. Get over here. Hey, puss. Here's the fucking set. Look, fucking car's been chopped, fucking useless now. That's not it. Then why is that car inside there, you see it, that Dodge? Why is that motherfucker wearing a fucking plate number I've been carrying in my shirt all week? I don't know. Let me tell you what's gonna happen here. The two of yous are climbing over that fence and shagging those plates. With the razor wire. Then, one of you stays with us while the other goes out on the street and boosts another satin. Hey, Mr. Miller, your car is back. My wife dropped me off this morning, and there it was. It's right in my parking spot. My Uncle Pussy had my dad located. Oh, Uncle Pussy? He, he's in the car business. Well, I don't know what to say to your dad. I, I mean, thanks, of course. It's nice and clean, too. Oh, different keys. Probably too much to hope my papers are still inside the trunk here. It's a different color. Whoa. Oh. My dad's a hero. 